Yes, this would be a very interesting twist. We had kind of forgotten a little bit about the left-wing candidates, given uh, the socialist candidate and the far-left-wing candidate uh, were showing up in fourth and fifth position at the best in the first uh, round of the presidential elections. But of course, a possible joint ticket between Benoit Hamon and Jean-Luc Mélenchon would totally uh, redesign the political landscape of these elections. Because uh, if you look at the current polls, uh, Benoit Hamon is currently around 15 percent in most opinion polls and Jean-Luc Mélenchon is uh, oscillating between 10 and 15 percent. So if you combine the two joint tickets could actually just eliminate Emmanuel Macron and François Fillon and then face uh, Marine Le Pen in uh, the runoff. So of course that's not something that's very reassuring for the markets because Benoît Hamon and Jean-Luc Mélenchon are considered very much on the left of the political spectrum in France. You know Benoît Hamon is offering for example a minimum wage of 750 euros for every French citizen. He's also working uh, with the economist Thomas Piketty to make uh, Europe more social, more political. Uh, anyway, both of them are not very reassuring for the markets uh, because their policies wouldn't be so market friendly, but also because the chances against Marine Le Pen in the runoff, the second run of the presidential elections, uh, their chance of the left wing candidate would actually be smaller uh, than a different candidate against Marine Le Pen. And that's why we're seeing French bond yields rising today, Caroline. In the broader context, uh, is Macron still ahead in the polls when you put him head to head with uh, Monsieur Fillon? So this is what we had from the latest poll, the Daily Opinion Way poll from today, is that uh, Macron and Fillon uh, looks uh, pretty much uh, neck on neck in the first round with 20% uh, each. This is the latest. Marine Le Pen, as you see, is still leading in uh, the first round, but uh, either Macron or Fillon still uh, would win against Marine Le Pen in the runoff. We also had some reactions on the French banks, uh, banking stocks today, actually. Uh, BNP, uh, Credit Agricole and Société Générale uh, all down following uh, this uh, news of a, a possible uh, joint uh, left-wing ticket, uh, even though all the French bankers we've been speaking with at, on Bloomberg over the past few days, from BNP to Crédit Agricole to uh, Société Générale, uh, have uh, told us that they are totally ruling out a Marine Le Pen a victory in the presidential elections. They're not even uh, considering a contingency plan uh, if, if that happens. Uh, the latest we also have from Emmanuel Macron is that uh, he's confirmed this morning that he uh, thinks he has strong evidence that he is the victim of cyber attacks from Ukraine at the Russian border. And meanwhile, on the campaign track of François Fillon, the investigation continues. Uh, François Fillon uh, had to uh, meet with Nicolas Sarkozy uh, this week, fueling speculation on what kind of advice he was seeking from the former French president.